What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today, I wanted to go over something that I've been playing around with recently. Now, I've been um, working with the folks at Boris FX. Um, I'm going to be doing some tutorials on Sapphire here. And I was playing around with some of the plugin, and I came across this depth of field plugin. I didn't even know that they had that. It kind of blew me away because I do a lot of depth of field for the work that I do, especially for environmental scenes. And so when I typed in blur in my effects and presets, I saw that they had a, um, a Z blur for Sapphire. So I was like, okay, let me try it out. And once I tried it out, I was kind of blown away at how powerful and how good it looked. And so I wanted to share this with you guys. It's a real quick solution. And so I have this scene that I built here with Forrester. Here's my depth pass here. If I turn this off, you can see it's just some generic trees here and some grass. Um, actually, let me throw some levels on there. So if there's some levels, darken it down a tad bit. Let me throw some hue on there. Some hue and saturation, bring the saturation down a tad bit. There we go, like so. So, okay, we're good there. So now in effects and presets, if I type in blur and I come down and I just find the sapphire blur and sharpen, and we have the Z blur here. And if I come into my, my um, layers palette, right click, new, come to adjustment layer, and then I'm gonna bring this Z blur on my adjustment layer. Now it's gonna make everything look all out of whack at first. And that's because I have to tell it where my depth pass is. So I'm gonna click on Z buffer, come down to depth. And if I bring up my depth pass here, solo it out, we can see that our blacks are near and our whites are far away. And so inside of the plugin, I just have to tell it that black is near. So once I hit that, then it flips everything around. And so now I just have to play around with the focal depth. So let me move this up a little bit. And we can already see it's looking really good here. Um, my depth of field, I can adjust that as I see fit. So I'm already liking this DOF right here. My layers, I could up that to make it a little bit smoother. So instead of five, let's say 30. If I wanna go crazy, let's say 60. Oh, it only goes up to 50. And then the other thing that really impressed me was that you can add fog into your, your scene as well. So I'm gonna go to fog far. Let me just bring this up a tad bit. And you can see we're starting to get a layer of fog in here, which is really cool. So you don't even have to render it out of your 3D app. You can kind of fake it with your Sapphire plugin. So I'm gonna bring some near fog in just a tad bit. And then I'm gonna soften my borders. And there we go. So now we have uh, a quick and easy depth of field um, pass. It looks pretty good here. If I zoom in, you can see it's pretty sharp around the edges. I've tried a ton of different DOF plugins and a lot of times it looks bad. Like it, you get like this blur around the edges, but this is pretty smooth. And so, yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. So I wanted to share this with you guys. And plus, um, since I am doing some stuff with Boris, if you go to their website or you click on the description below, if you wanna um, try out a trial, I think you could do a 15 day trial. And then if you like it, you can actually get 15% off by typing keyword Wimbush. And so this is, um, yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. I've been using it on this project that I'm doing for Discovery Channel right now. And um, yeah, I mean, the client's been happy, it looks great. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you guys find this um, helpful, you know, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through some more Sapphire stuff here for the next couple of weeks. Cause um, as I dive in, I'm just, you know, I'm just seeing more and more stuff I didn't even know that they offered. And so I wanna share that with you guys as well. So if there's anything in the Sapphire suite that you guys have trouble with, or you wanna know how to use, or you're just generally curious about, please leave me a comment below and I'll get right back to you and I'll try to bang that tutorial out. So until next time, keep creating and thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later.